part of your hand. I think we're going to start by going around with names here. Sir, your name and your country? Uh, Mikki Laukasmäki from Finland. Gimbal uh, from... And race. And, well, no, country, I mean, all right, whatever. Name, country, and race. Uh, hello, I'm Mikki Laukasmäki, I'm from Finland, and I play Protoss race. I, I'm Gimbal Beer from Scotland, and I'm white. <laughs> Terran, actually, but yeah. I was about to do nationality instead of actual race in StarCraft. Um, Louis Reining, um, Korean American adoptee, and Zerg. And he's a he's, he plays StarCraft as well. I am uh, Nicholas Kenneth Carefoot. My ID on Battle.net is Carefoot. I play as Random, and I'm from the Canada, uh, Canada, a country in you may know about it. It's like the hat of America, and yeah, I'm happy to be here. So my name is uh, Anaf Swaive. Uh, my ID is Karl, and I'm from France, Paris. And I'm Trevor Housen, also known as Torch, and I'm from America. Play Terran. So thanks for joining us here for this StarCraft II roundtable after the semifinals of GSL. Uh, what brings you guys actually all the way out here? Does anyone want to start us off? How you came to be? Yeah, so I came uh, for the qualifiers of the GSL 2 season. And I played also in the GSL 3 and that's why I came here. And I'm going to stay here for a year to play StarCraft II basically. And, uh, I uh, eventually get uh, code A or code Ace next year, so I'll practice until then. And uh, that's why I'm here, StarCraft 2, and I really, nothing else. I too believe that I could uh, win the entire GSL 3, and uh, so I competed in the preliminaries and I uh, was eliminated, but now I'm just enjoying some StarCraft 2, playing on the ladder, watching it, coming here live. It's pretty exciting, and yeah, I'm enjoying Korea. I'm, I came to Korea uh, back in the end of August or September to study at Yonsei, about to finish up that for a semester, um, kind of find my roots, kind of get to know the culture. And back in September, I had a friend who was yelling at me because I wasn't going to GSL. So ever since then, I've been going off and on, you know, through all three of them so far. I, uh, yeah, I came here to get better, really, like just to train. Uh, I also competed in the GSL season three and uh, didn't do very well at all. And uh, basically, I've just been out here watching. Uh, GSL, like coming every day and winning stuff. And uh, aside from that, yeah, just training, playing on the ladder, and maybe hope to play with like Torch and Karn some more at some point. I came to Korea to study, actually. I'm exchange student at Kyunghee University. And uh, of course, the StarCraft culture was a big motivator for me to come to Korea, of course. Excellent. Korea, I'm sure, is glad to have all of you. In its, uh, in its bosom now. So you guys have been coming to these GSL events, some of you competing, all of you enjoying your time and coming out to watch, dedicated. We really appreciate you guys making the effort to come out to every taping. And I know you've been winning a lot of stuff at the raffles. So uh, what have you been enjoying most about your stay in Korea and specifically the GSL? Specifically to StarCraft, uh, the culture here is like, well, there's, there's, there's a lot of these events here, and what I'm not used to also as events is that all these events are free, and they just want you to come for the tapings, so it's really welcoming, they like kind of bring you in, they're like, here, put your name in this raffle, have a soda, sit down, cheer, here's some sticks, bang them together, have fun, dance if you like, you know, like, enjoy yourself. I really like the fact that I can uh, go to the GSL every day and not have to pay anything and win prizes. I think that's awesome. The games have been great as well. Round of 64 was a lot of stomping, but ever since then it's been really good. I really like the fact that Jinro's doing really well and like showing people how to play Terran properly. Uh, what else? Girls. Girls are nice. Yes. He, he fancies the uh, raffle girl and he is going to ask her out at some point. She is, however, incredibly cute, so respect. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow I get my Okay. Actually, the culture and the people here are very nice. I've been surprised because uh, in Paris, 
Well, people can be nice, but that's not really the, what's happening every day. I have been to two qualifiers, season two and season three. Oh well, of course I didn't manage, but it was fun. <laughs> I enjoyed being there, talking with these nerds. <laughs> I have been uh, really enjoying my stay here in Korea. I've stayed in some different kind of places. I've been when I first got here, I was in a Jimmy Bong. Then I moved into a. Uh, it's basically a dormitory for these kids who go to school here and now I'm in a Goshu Bong which is basically like a closet and so I've gone from uh, a military barracks basically to a place where I have a house mom who, who treats me like a child and now I'm uh, in a closet. Game is not seen here as the same way it's seen in the US or in the Europe where if you're a gamer you're basically wasting your time etc. So that's pretty nice and hopefully I'll stay here for a long time. I really like it, I really like the fact that I can go to PC Bang and everybody there is playing StarCraft or lots of other cool looking Korean games that I really want to play. Well on the note of like things that are really cheap, anyone like anyone here who's finds themselves in the K-pop concerts, you know, back it's in America. Pizza, oh yeah, it's a five dollar pizza. Um, you know, concerts back in the US cost you like a hundred dollars a ticket here, most of them are five bucks, so it's pretty nice. Korea has no crime, and as a Scottish person this confuses me. I've been here for four months and I feel like I'm just starting to get a sense of, of, of Korean culture and, and of Korea itself. Like you start digging and you just find there's so much rich history and there's so many places you can explore which is just amazing um, and you know, endless fun um, if you're not caught up with studies. But GSL I've just really enjoyed being able to be so close to the pros. You know, they, you, well, you can sit there and watch them when they're 10 feet away, they'll finish a the match and they'll, they'll come out and you can if you know Korean, or if it's a foreigner, you know, you can go up, you can shake their hand, you can talk to them. They're really, really open, they're really friendly, and that's really cool. The subway system here is amazing. Just thought I'd add that in. It's all in, like, everything is in English. It's like, all the machines are really easy to use, and it's really cheap. So, yeah, awesome. Yeah,